It's about quarter to six in the morning. I've been up for about an hour getting some uh, work done, some basic stuff done. As you can see, the sun is just barely starting to peak up. And uh, we're going to get the day moving right now. Got to let out the beasts. Come on. I got one, two, three, four, five. Guys, go see mama. Go see mama. Let's go. There's mama. Go get her. First things first, I got to get the carnivores fed. That's the first thing I got to do. Make them happy so I get some peace and I can get my stuff done here in the morning. Check it out right behind me. My jujube tree just came in yesterday. So I'm really excited to get this guy planted in the ground. Maybe we'll get that done later today. Got to get a little bit of some morning martial arts meditation in. Get my body moving. Get my mind focused for the day. Got some stuff. Got to got to get done today.
So right now in the garden, I do not have like a automated watering system. So I have to hand water all the raised beds, everything. And uh, I don't really mind it so much though, cause it's kind of a nice kind of morning meditation. But I am working on a design to get some of the beds on a, a little bit of a irrigation system where I can just flip the switch, let it run for you know 10 minutes or so, and uh, that way some of the beds can get watered while I'm finishing up the rest of the bed. This is my purple passion asparagus right over here. new shoot here some new ones popping up over here I don't know if it'll clear up let's see there you go you can kind of see them I got my two new pawpaw trees this year my guy over here this one over here, this is my mango pawpaw. He's doing so good. He's got all this new growth, beautiful new growth. Looking super good. I can't wait to try a mango pawpaw. Cats fed, check. Workout in the morning with a morning meditation done, check. Garden, check. Time for a quick breakfast. Got lots to do today. So, it's yogurt and granola. This is the good stuff. And a little bit of this one. Some uh, peanut butter in there. All right, that's what it looks like. Yogurt, dairy-free yogurt, almond yogurt with uh, some granola mixed on in. Kind of tricky on these uh, vlogs because I did have some fruit this morning. I had my water, some fruit, orange, apple. Now I'm having my granola to fill me up. bit of a epic hike in getting some work done gotta take some photos of some gear and stuff for the business love coming out here it's one of my favorite places to hike yeah, come check this out This is what gets me most excited. Pretty epic, right? so disgusting how some people treat these places just throw their trash everywhere if you drop something go down and go get it it's insane you know people we like to think that we're different from the animal kingdom we absolutely are but man i don't know i don't know if we can say we're cleaner than uh all the wild animals because man we leave a lot of trash just everywhere i think human beings is the filthiest animal on the planet pretty disgusting but the view is amazing. Secret spot 
whole bunch of blueberries, well, huckleberries that are all over here when they're in season. You just come and uh, get a belly full of delicious huckleberries. I love coming out, doing these little hikes in these epic places. You get to just think, let the mind go. You know, think about all kinds of things. Life, health, happiness, wealth, work, business, your art, your creativity. Get inspired when you're out in beautiful, epic places like this. Gets those creative juices going again. If you look way up there, you'll see where uh, the main observation trail is at. That's where all the people go. I've been hiking this place for so long, I know where all the best spots are where the people don't go. You can hear all the people over there. They can never hear me. So one of the things I like to do when I come out to a place like this is kind of use it as like my office. I'm working on a couple new projects with some uh, potential partners. You know, we're seeing if uh, we can get something going. And uh, if it does, then uh, we got a new venture that we got to work on. And I'm gonna watch a few videos, listen to a few things, read a few things, soak in some of this knowledge that he sent me and some of this data and everything that I need to uh, I need to get familiar with. And there's no better place to do that than right here. So my little office for right now. All right, I gotta get some work done. Watermelon from the garden. Let's cut this bad boy open, see how he is. You gotta get out of the bowl, Goji. Let's try a little bite. Mm. Oh yeah. You cannot get them like this from the store. Like, even the rhyme is sweet. We got it. Watermelon snack. Got to take the compost out. Thank you. 
crazy that when I was living in the city, how much food scraps was just being wasted, just thrown away into the trash. It's such a shame. You don't really realize how much waste you're producing until you're, you know, gardening and composting and you know, really making those conscious efforts to, uh, you know, to try to do better. All right, gotta plant my jujube. Also, sometimes known as a Chinese date tree. And uh, I've been kind of walking through the garden seeing exactly where I wanna get them planted. And uh, I'm thinking I'm gonna get them planted right around in this spot right here. I think I got my spot picked out for my jujube. I think it's gonna look really good right there. There it is, super excited. Got my jujube tree in the ground, planted. If you wanna see the full planting video of the jujube tree, make sure to go ahead and click right up here to my gardening channel. That's where I put up the entire uh, planting of the tree. Sun is going down and uh, I'm gonna be heading out inside. I'm gonna eat a quick dinner, probably just put together a big salad from different things from the garden. Rest up and uh, get the day started all over again tomorrow. So thanks a lot for joining me for today's vlog. And uh, if you like this type of video, make sure to uh, hit the thumbs up button and leave me a cool comment below. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next episode.